Hey guys, today a very special treat for serious obscure action figure fans. This is Dark Lord from the Exchangers. The Exchangers are one of the most ridiculously hard to find out about toy lines of the 1980s. Part of the reason is because they have interchangeable parts and often these parts are just completely lost. I'll show you what I mean shortly when we take them apart. Another reason is there are no markings on these figures whatsoever. Now, I had one of these guys when I was a kid. He was the leader of the good guys and he was called Colonel Strong. He had a white armour similar to this and he also had an eye patch on one eye. This is the evil leader, Dark Lord, spelt D A R K. The Exchangers line were made by Akamas Toys in 1985. These were pretty popular in Britain. I actually had a friend come up to me with one of these guys at school and tell me it was an Australian He-Man figure. I didn't believe him then, but I got one of these figures not long after. But could I hell remember what they were called? Fast forward to the early 2000s and I acquired a couple more of these figures. And again, no markings, no clue on any toy website that I could find what the hell these were called. And it's taken me over a decade to actually find out the name of these guys. The Exchangers line actually features various different toy lines. The good guys are called X Troopers and the bad guys are called X Terminators. And there are six figures in the line. On the good guys we have the three heroes, Colonel Strong, Lieutenant Stern and Sergeant Scar. On the bad guys we have Dark Lord, Zondor and Terax. On the card backs, it actually shows some vehicles, one of them which is called the X Trooper X Fighter, which looks really cool, but I'm not sure if it ever existed. And even better than that, there's a giant playset called Lasertron. Love to see if they actually exist, but I've got a gut feeling that they never made it beyond the card backs. So these figures come with one really cool accessory, and that is these giant helmets. And this one belongs to this guy. Remind me very much of American football helmets and there is a similar helmet theme going on with a line called Earth Force which is totally unrelated to these. Unfortunately the paint job on the helmets aren't very good at all. In fact, if you look in the back, you can see a yellow overspray where they spray painted the front of the helmet. The plastics, it's okay, it's a little brittle, I wouldn't put any weight on it, but it looks pretty cool when you put them on the figures. For the figures themselves, they have a rubber head. They're a bit taller than He-Man figures, not quite as muscly. On the back we've got a similar kind of setup to the He-Man harnesses. They do actually fit quite well. They actually remind me more of the Galaxy Warriors, the way that pin fits in there. And they should also come with a belt. Now, I should say I'm 99% sure this is the belt and the harness that comes with this figure. So far I can't find carded examples of the bad guys, just one of the good guys. Now that leads us to the exchanges feature. So on this hand he's got this pile driver thing and the arms actually pop off. And if you've got different figures you could pop them on there if you wanted to. And also the legs pop off. I love these square legs. And again they're actually different if you look the in the centre there's just a straight line. If you put them on the wrong way you've got this gap in the middle so that's how you can tell if you've got left and right but is this looking familiar to anyone seeing a figure looking like this in a toy box back in the 80s because i'm definitely sure i saw quite a few of these but fully kitted up these figures are really cool looking now i definitely had colonel strong when i was a kid and he had an extra hand section and it was like a claw that would plug onto this hand. They also, the good guys, have a different hand mold for this arm and it has an extra little gun thing that fits on. Unfortunately, I don't have the good guys to show you. I do have all three of the bad guys, but as yet, seeing as I've seen no carded samples, I cannot say for sure if that is it or you got the extra hand piece. Maybe it was a gun, maybe it was a claw, I don't know. Time will tell and hopefully if any of you guys have seen them, you can point me in the right direction. Maybe you own one. You could send us a picture. Now, unfortunately, pictures of these guys are few and far between on the internet. 
There are images available from the original designer of his artwork, but actual pictures of the figures on their cards showing you all the bits, I can't find anything that's easy to see. There also seems to be some triple packs with slightly alternate versions of these figures, but again I don't know if they were just prototypes and they changed the design by the time they released them. It's quite possible. So the exchanges line did continue after these guys. There was the Cosmic Cowboys line, which is a bit like Brave Star. They fit very well with these actually. They've got space themed cowboy suits and red Indian hats and stuff. And there's also something called X-Force, which is more like Rambo styled. Again, they feature the clip off arms and legs feature, but they don't really mix and match with these guys. I personally think these guys are great. They fit somewhere between He-Man and New Adventures of He-Man. And who does that remind you of? That's Trapjaw, totally. And then when you put the helmets on, they look even cooler. This guy, you can't really see his face. The other ones have more of an open helmet design. I'll show you a couple of the other guys very soon. I do have Terax and I do have Zondar. So that's the bad guys. As far as I'm aware, complete. But I do need to find the heroes, especially Colonel Strong, seeing as he's the one I had as a kid. Love to know what happened to that figure, because it was really cool looking. So there you go, guys. It doesn't get much more obscure than this. Exchangers, Exterminator, Dark Lord. This has been Luke. Thanks for watching.